why do people think that little stick with the strings is fun? Like, I don't <laughs> it's called a maypole. <laughs> oh, it is. <laughs> yeah, <I> think. <laughs>Welcome back to another episode of Blurred Up Reacts, where we watch and react to the latest and greatest in movie, TV, and gaming. We are your hosts. I'm Killer Cam. And I'm Monique. We're back with episode two of Loki. Yay! <laughs> so the first episode of Loki was kind of like a setup type of episode. Like, oh, this is the Loki we're kind of dealing with, the 2012 Loki. Mm -hmm. He's at the TVA. Oh, what is the TVA, you ask? And what do they do? So <laughs> I feel like the first episode was really like to set up the whole series. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm hoping in this next episode, we can start getting into some uh, some more action. We got a little bit of action in episode one, but... Um, I want to get into bigger action in this next episode. Definitely. We definitely see, definitely see the time variance authority is a force mm -hmm. to be reckoned with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't play around. <laughs> <laughs> and Loki kind of got knocked off his pedestal a little bit and humbled. They mm -hmm. basically told him, like, yeah, you ain't nothing unless we say you finna be nothing. Everything that you do, it don't mean nothing because at the end of the day, you're going to do what we need you to do. And he was just right. like, well, okay <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, pretty much we all know that that ain't loki we know that he still got some tricks up his sleeve so we know at the first opportunity he's going to get to run mm -hmm. or to even like take over the tva he's probably going to do that <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> pretty Most sure definitely. that's the case <laughs> yeah so I'm excited to jump into it. Before we do, thank you to everyone who has been liking and subscribing to our channel because the likes, the views, all of that, it helps us grow. It helps us expand our audience reach. And we know that we can't do that growing without all of you. So thank you so much for your support. And if you are new to this channel, just stumbling across, please make sure you do hit the like button. If you are digging the reactions and hit the subscribe button so you too can stay up to date with all of our glorious content. Yep, yep. All right, without further ado, let's jump into this low-key episode two. You ready? Yay, I'm ready. Let's go. Oshkosh, Wisconsin, 1985. <laughs> 1985. Why do people think that little stick with the strings is fun? Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's called a maypole. <laughs> oh, it is? <laughs> yeah, I think. <laughs> oh, I know her. What's going on? You guys aren't dressed right. Uh. <laughs> so, let's move. No nexus energy yet. The trap, watch your back. So they're chasing the variant. Mm -hmm. again. Is it a Loki variant, you think? Yeah, that's what um, they said. Mo Mobius said at the last episode. Whoa, no, what the? they not. Yo, this they are wearing the this song out. This is the third time this like... week I have heard this song. <laughs> they are wearing this song out. Oh. Look. What She's the She's attacking her own peeps. Her eyes went green, so she... Yeah, I think Loki, or the variant Loki is mind-controlling her. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. I'm the hero of the night. Oh. Damn. She stole a uh, one of those monitor. Time, yeah, monitor thingies in like the little time, the reset yeah. the things that you use to reset time. Yeah. AKA kill people. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, though, they really wearing that some Bonnie Tyler must have got paid this I know. quarter. She, she was didn't like, get paid. Oh. <laughs> You want to use it for the video game? Sure. You want to use it for Loki? Mm -hmm. All right. He made it to. Oh, she wow. Hey, baby. Mm -hmm. C20 and her team went dark shortly after they jumped into the 1985 branch. Here's the deal when we get out on the branch, we're not just looking for a time criminal, we're looking for a Loki. Differences in appearances, different powers, although powers and generally Loki? include yeah. shape shifting. My Duplication favorite. Concept. They're the two completely different powers, actually. Sure. But uh, <laughs> you already knew that. We're going to break into two teams because whoever this variant is, we haven't been able to find them. I'll have my magic back. You're not concerned about that. Of what? Me betraying you. How's betraying us going to get you any closer to the timekeepers? An audience with the timekeepers is on the table. 
Keep that focus. <laughs> He's like a child. He is. <laughs> Why don't we just travel back to before the attack? Nexus events destabilize the time flow. Did you watch yeah. any of the training videos you were supposed to? As many as I could stand. Your TVA propaganda is exhausting. A Loki couldn't have gotten the jump on C20. I think you underestimate, actually. Fan out and search for her. <laughs> Wait. If you leave this tent, you'll end up like them. It's a trap. He's waiting for you outside this tent. Almost one unit. And he rightly believes that together we can overthrow and rule the TVA. But that's not what I want. <laughs> I'm a servant of the sacred timeline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's bull, bull yeah. crapping. I'm only to speak to the timekeepers at once. They're in graver danger than we realized. He's lying. <laughs> Just playing games. There's no one out there. Reset the timeline. I don't know if I could handle having somebody around like that all the time. I'd be like, look. <laughs> you talk too damn much. I know. <laughs> this variant is insubordinate unpredictable <laughs> sounds like someone else i know i realize that my methods with this loki are controversial understanding this loki helps me get closer to the one we're chasing loki is an evil ryan scourge that is the part he plays on the sacred timeline it can change not unless the timekeepers decree it and then it shall be so the timekeepers <laughs> are monitoring every aspect of this case and this is the last chance you're going to get with this loki great that's all i'm going to need hey. You're probably wondering what happened out on the mission. Here we go. Already. <laughs> you see, half the fun of being a trickster is knowing everyone knows you're a trickster. Okay, just, 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 just shut up. Right. <laughs> like, what happened to the guy I met on the elevator? He didn't like to talk? Very nice. I've been playing a game of my own all along. Charm your way in front of the timekeepers and then seize control of the TVA. Am I getting warm? <laughs> <laughs> So I feel like Mobius just read him, like yeah, like to feel, <laughs> like yeah, had him looking like for, uh, for real a scared little boy. He was like, <laughs> "I know you asked your daddy for the cookie already. That's why I told you no." <laughs> but, but. I need you to go over each and every one of the variants' case files, and then give me your unique Loki perspective. Maybe there's something that we miss. Pretend your life depends on it. Mm. I'm gonna get a snack. Class seven apocalypse. <gasps> He's not gonna go back and try to save Asgard, is he? He's hiding in apocalypses. Nexus events. Let's just say Do your it. salad is Asgard. No, in this scenario. It's not Asgard. That's <laughs> <a moment. laughs> I want and that salad. I can do whatever I want to do, and it would never matter. <laughs> That's true. Because. Oh God, you, <laughs> Casey. <laughs> it could be any apocalypse. If everyone around you is destined for imminent destruction, could be hiding in the apocalypse and do whatever he wants, mm -hmm. and we wouldn't. Yeah. Know. Okay, makes sense. Yeah. I'll show you. I'm not taking you for a stroll along the promenade, much less an apocalypse. What could possibly go wrong? Here's a fun theory: you lure me out into the field, and then you stab me in the back. I never stab anyone in the back. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You've literally stabbed people in the back like 50 times. <laughs> you don't trust me, you can trust one thing. I love to be right. <laughs> Pompeii. Pompeii. Where's Kit Harrington? That was a terrible movie. It really was. The butt. <laughs> <laughs> the butt of all existence. Yeah. 79 AD. Any minute now, until this entire town is wiped off the face of its planet. Anything we do can impact the course of history. Do you get that? Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, crap. Be free, my horn friend. Be free. <laughs> He's like, shit. Right. <laughs> Nothing matters. <laughs> Nothing has any consequence. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Literally a child. Right. <laughs> How do we do? No branching in the timeline. TVA would never even know we were here. Yeah, I better go. If it were me, this is where I would hide. Yeah. <laughs> Varian's been ambushing our soldiers and hiding out in Doomsday to cover his tracks. You're welcome. Anything? It's not the climate disaster of 2048 or the tsunami of 2051. Jesus. <laughs> One damn thing after another, isn't it? Cyclones, volcanoes, God. Uh, that's where he is. Alabama 2050. You're going to take my job if I'm not careful. Y'all are flirting with each other so hard. I know. <laughs> Haven Hills, Alabama, corporate town owned by Rockstar until.
Uh, Rex Cart. Rex Cart. And this is all based on a theory from the variant who just blew your previous mission. This is where we nail the variant. Come on, you don't see me usually this worked up, right? Come on, Ravana. Okay. Right. Yes. <laughs> okay. There's not much I can do if it doesn't work out. For all time. It's weird for all time, always. Okay, all right. No, I get it. I get it. I yeah. get it. <laughs> so it makes sense. Yeah. I'm telling you, you actually help us catch this variant, and who knows what the Here comes the trades. For a face to face with the timekeepers, one step at a time, just in case. Uh uh. <laughs> Absolutely. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a step too far. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's a future of him. He can hide out there and do whatever he wants to. The hell was that? That was me. Using magic to dry my clothes. Take both teams and sweep the storm shelter. But he's under my supervision. You are more than welcome to go back to the TVA and litigate with Renslayer. The variant is no, here. It's fine. It's fine. Something about to go off. I want one of those. <laughs> <laughs> you want to reset the? Well, what is that? Was that wasn't one of? That, the, was, that just was just the monitor. The yeah, yeah, just the monitor. I for one, I'm glad we get to spend this time together. Hey, what are you doing? Shopping for plants. Could that be you? Yes, maybe. You're cool. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh. Damn it. Is he dead? They usually survive. So, you're the fool the TVA brought in to hunt me down. I wonder what sights the Loki has shown her. <laughs> right. Oh. Are you going to call your little friends for help? Show yourself, Loki. Oh, don't call me that. You can call me Randy. God, now I understand why Paul found this so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> it was real. I gave it away. What did you give away? The timekeepers, where they are. Oh, there he is. Or she? Do you think it's she? You think it's Lady Loki? Yeah. Yes. Wow. This isn't about you. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna run. Wait a minute. Is she sending him to the TVA? Yeah. Oh. Why does Fry remind me of Cabin in the Woods? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All hands on deck! Bye! <laughs> he gonna run. Yeah. That was a Very really good, good episode. episode too. Yeah, yeah. I want more. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad that. I just thought about it. I was like, oh, we don't have that far to go till Wednesday, but today's Wednesday. I, I forgot <laughs> this is about Friday. <laughs> Damn you, Disney Plus. <laughs> <laughs> Messing the up the world. Messing up the world. No, this is good. Right. They're on a good uh, track here because that was my kind of. So the first episode set everything up, right? Mm -hmm. And I didn't want them to stay in the TVA too long. I wanted to see chaos like immediately. And I think we kind of got that with that with this episode. Yeah, yeah. Um, they did. Oh, uh, let me stop this real quick because it's going to play Falcon and the Winter Soldier. I'm going to watch. Want to watch that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> I did. That did feel like they still gave us little tidbits of information within mm -hmm. that episode, including about. You know what happens when that uh when when a branch of a timeline reaches that red line and things like that so i appreciate those little tidbits that we started out with with them still trying to explain some stuff but yeah immediately um very glad that they immediately were like okay let's get out there let's go try to stop this variant or lady yeah. loki as we now know um so Delicious. very very buddy copish but in a different way uh, so, than the Falcon and the Winter Soldier was. This was flirting. So yeah. this was like major, like this this was flirting. I by their body language is what was like 
how do I want to say this? How do I want to say this? <laughs> it's like, so they're bantering, they're going back and forth, but they yeah. kind of teetered into a space to where, oh, I like you. I kind of like you too. <laughs> you know, I hate you, but I like you type of thing. And I was like, the body <laughs> language between Owen Wilson and uh, uh, Tom Hiddleston when they're sitting at the table and uh, Owen w Wilson is sitting and he's laying back and his legs are extended in between Loki's legs. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't notice that. <laughs> that was oh. something I was not paying attention to. I was like, <laughs> okay. oh, okay. But didn't they just confirm that Loki um, is gender fluid or wh what did they call it? I forgot what they called it. I'll mess it up if I try to say something. Because <laughs> I, I, I don't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't hear that. Mm -hmm. I think I know what you're trying to say, but I didn't hear that. But I'm not going to attempt to try to say it because I'll mess it up. Uh, I no, think they okay. confirmed that uh, there was some fluidity in Loki's sexuality. That's what. Oh, I'm okay. Say. So, I so I maybe know. they're playing we'll with see. it. They're playing with it, maybe. But I saw it yeah. in the body language, and then like when they're going through the case, it's like, ah, ah, yeah. scared little boy. Yeah, I wouldn't say that. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I see you guys. I see you. <laughs> I saw more of like still as kind of like a buddy cop a type of thing, but still mm -hmm. a little bit. I I know they said that about um, or you can say the same thing about Falcon and Winter Soldier, but I mm -hmm. felt like it was a little bit different. Maybe yeah, I don't know how to explain it. Bad boys, maybe I don't know. Mm -hmm. Bad boys, buddy cop instead of no, I don't think that's right. I'm no, there's 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 something here. I'm hoping I'm hoping they play with it. Actually, okay. that didn't sound right when I said it like that. I hope we'll that see. they explore that though, because that yeah. would be interesting. Yeah, that we'll would be see. interesting. Um, so, do you think the TVA is the bad guy? I don't think they're the bad guy, nor do I think they're the good guy. Mm, okay. Like you know, I'm one of those weird people that was like, there is really no bad guy or good guy. There's just people. And whether I like you or not. <laughs> <laughs> but you did hear what Loki said in the episode. Like, bad guys aren't all bad and mm -hmm. good guys, guys aren't, aren't all good. good. Yeah. So I, I kind of think that it might not be the TVA that is the bad guy. But I mm -hmm. think maybe it's got something to do with the timekeepers that might be the bad guy. Like, you, because Mobius was like, hey, you know, we were just created. You know, the timekeepers created us to keep the sacred timeline sacred you know mm -hmm. flowing uh, intact and this is what we're here to do so i think the tva the people who work at the tva might just be doing their job doing Arts. what they're told to do yeah. yeah and i think whoever is actually running whether it be the timekeepers or somebody else that's the person who might just be turn turn out to be the bad guy because i'm I i'm trying to figure out what at what reasoning would lady loki have to try to disrupt that sacred timeline, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, look at it this way. Something has happened in another timeline that's pissed her off. Mm -hmm. Something's had to happen to make her version of Loki kind of go off on this, this mission of revenge, because that's what it feels like. This is revenge for something, I feel mm -hmm. like. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But also going back to the TVA, being good or bad you know um the sacred ones being good or bad i was like it, there's this this ambiguity there and i think that's the brilliant piece of it being kind of set as like an office because mm -hmm. we all work for companies that you don't really necessarily agree with everything that they do <laughs> uh so it's just kind of like they're just cogs in a wheel at this time so it's it's a job that's their purpose yeah. that's what they're there to do um but would that suggest taking your mind from the way you're taking it? So would that suggest that the sacred timeline, because we know it's going to get split apart. We know that it was once a multiverse. It was corralled and it's going to rip apart again here in the future. Mm -hmm. Do you think having the sacred timeline is the, the bad thing in the multiverse was actually good? I'm trying to figure out how, how I want to communicate that. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like, Do like the multiverse was liberation and freedom. Because remember, uh, Mobius and Loki referenced we're the only ones being free or whatever. Yeah, the multiverse is at the freedom, and the sacred timeline is just us being oppressed. Like, 
Yeah, it it sounded very Thanos Thanos ish, mm-hmm. um, where he was like, you know, and Thanos was like, he wants to cut the universe, the, the amount of you know people or whatever souls, whatever, mm-hmm. um, in half for the good of the galaxy or the universe. So you know, um, everybody could eat, everybody could not want for anything. Mm-hmm. So it kind of feels like whoever's at the be, you know, at the head of the TVA is kind of doing the same thing, um, where it's just we want to make sure we want to be able to control everybody by using this, by making everybody conform and, you know, keep in line with this sacred time line, because whenever people branch off and do their own things, that's their free will. And that's, you know, that's what they want to avoid. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? Who knows at this point, it's just episode two. I'm pretty sure we're going to get kicked in the balls a few more times as, (laughs) as the season goes on. Um, interesting though I like the way variant Lady Loki was possessing people mm-hmm. that was kind of interesting you know and then it yeah. kind of made me wonder like when she, when she did that to them did they retain the information that was shared when she was invading their body or is it kind of also like now we're getting into like sci-fi and stuff is it kind of like this hive consciousness now that when she possesses somebody not only do you remember what happened while she was inhabiting your body do you remember everything else that happened with other people when she was in their body as soon as she invades you do you retain every piece of knowledge she has in her head because 20 was like it was real. I made a mistake. I gave him, but you know, it was, it was this thing. So I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I want to know, uh, I think it's what C20 or C25, the, the, C20. the, the timekeeper that was, you know, taken from them. Yeah. 20. Um, yeah. I want to know what, what the, the variant or lady Loki showed her because mm-hmm. she was like, um, what was she saying? Like, um, I wasn't ready. Or, I don't know. It was like it was real. It was real. Yeah, Yeah. it was real. It was real. Like, what did she show you to just go off the rails like that? Like, what what made you want to give up where the timekeepers were? Right. And see, and that's what I was talking about. Because even when fifteen woke up, she was kind of like, and that's Mm -hmm. what I was saying. Is there this hive consciousness? If you've been invaded by Lady Loki, do you remember everything? from her her consciousness being merged with yours you know what i mean yeah 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 so which i guess not really because you wouldn't know what if that was the case you would know what the end game is unless she's really skilled at shielding her thoughts and just letting you know what she wants you to know um that's another thing too the way that lady loki was possessing these people loki doesn't have that same power does he to control I people like that don't think so I don't think so either. So that makes me think that like very Scarlet Witchy. I'm about to pull up my Marvel encyclopedia. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I don't I don't think that he possesses that power, which makes me think or wonder if other variant Lokis have different power sets than you know he does. I know they showed various Lokis in hologram mm-hmm. form in the show. So maybe like one Loki's really good at like cycling i think we saw like a tour to tour to loki in there there. (laughs) does every loki have a different ability or power yeah it looks like it but i'm sorry i thought that was interesting i just i just it just popped into my head when you were talking about the whole do they have a hive mind type Mm -hmm. of thing because i was like wait does loki have that power yeah i mean yeah and it does teeter more so on the side well i mean loki's kind of been a magical being so i mean not that much of a stretch, but I immediately like harken back to WandaVision mm-hmm. where she was taken over. Uh, well, she took over the damn town, but when she mm-hmm. came outside of the hex yeah. and made all the soldiers point the gun at uh, Dick Face. So, <laughs> <laughs> so that's what wow. I it reminded me of. So, yeah, yeah, okay, all right. I don't know. I don't know. Um, they're two for two for right now. So I kind of mm-hmm. held off my judgment on the first episode until I saw this one because I didn't want it to drag. But mm-hmm. now that I've seen this one, oh, perfect. You know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm. Track. I'm just. I'll oh, go ahead. Mm-mm, that was it. Oh, I was gonna say. I'm just gonna warn everybody now. There has got to be something spectacular that happens in these episodes, 
for me anyways Mm -hmm. for this series to overthrow falcon and the winter soldier i told y'all guys before i'm a huge falcon and winter soldier fan Mm -hmm. um so and i'm hoping that you know disney plus is like we we took that challenge and we're gonna do it um because i would love to see them you know make me as a falcon fan over you know say that loki was the best disney plus series so far Mm -hmm. but i'm just setting y'all up for when we finally (laughs) i'm setting (laughs) y'all up (laughs) for when we review the whole season it's gonna take a lot for you know for this to overthrow falcon and winter soldier for me i can't and so far it's exciting yeah so far it's exciting it looks like it might be on the right track but i'm just warning (laughs) y'all see i can't do that and they're they're too different they're different Mm -hmm. genres to me almost so it's like comparing them like in my brain there's really no comparing it because they're all individual unique necessary Mm -hmm. stories of these characters who we've seen in bits and pieces within the mcu and now we're getting the full in your face exposure to them so yeah um if I have to rank it, of course, you know, as it sits now, of course, I'm going to pick Falcon and Winter Soldier because I think there was, a, you, those are my boys in the first place. And then secondly, there's <laughs> just a connection to it. But by all means, if you ask me to like kind of put them in ranking order, I couldn't even do that. <laughs> well, that's what I was getting prepared for because yeah. I know at some point somebody is going to ask us how would they we've already been asked actually series. yeah we've oh, already okay, been okay, asked okay. so that might come to fruition well, it, it Loki has not it's not the end yet so we can't really answer that yeah, but I just but... want to prepare everybody for when this does end like this got six episodes six episodes mm-hmm. like Falcon and Winter Soldier yeah um it's gonna take a lot so. for, for me to yeah. to overthrow but we'll see I, yeah. I'm I'm I, I think Disney Plus is on the right track right now, and mm-hmm. I'm just super excited to watch the rest of the season at this point. Yeah, definitely. And I, I like the short episode format, the short yeah. season format. Yeah. So cool. Um, what did you guys think of episode two? What do you think about Ooh, Lady Loki? Drop down in the comments. Let us know. Until next time, we are your hosts. I'm Killer Cam. And I'm Monique. We'll see you on the next episode of Blurred Up Reacts. Thanks, guys.